my name is Shelby. Don't forget, um, I was doing so well. That's okay, we can cut this. everybody what's up welcome back to my channel I am super excited to share something new with you today namely what is in this package so if this is your first time to my channel then a hearty welcome please feel free to like and subscribe my name is Shelby Lynn and I am a freelance artist I specialize in portraits pet portraits custom art commissions and I now offer art lessons both both in person and online to people just like you. So let's get into today's topic. Right, so I was uber excited recently to be contacted by Art and Fly. You may have seen, if you follow me on social media, Facebook or Instagram, you may have seen how I often uh, recommend Art and Fly colored pencils. I use them a lot in my pet portraiture. And I was contacted by the people behind Art and Fly to ask me if they, I would like to try their new portrait pencil line. And of course the answer was, yeah. So um, they have arrived. I did peek inside the package just to make sure it was them, but I have not opened anything and I've not tried them yet. I was going to let you tag along and let's see how they work and how good they are together. This is an honest review. They are not paying me to, to, to like them or anything. Um, I'm just testing these out and I thought you might like to test them out with me. So without further ado, let's get into it All right, so here it is folks Just for the record they uh, If anybody's interested in shipping times, this did show up very quickly Okay, I Just love new art supplies, don't you? I mean like yeah, I don't care about shoes, I don't care about makeup or anything, but dang, new art supplies are just like exciting. All right. I am totally keeping this bubble wrap. I can use that. All right, that is beautiful. I love Art and Fly colored pencils, not least because they are an oil-based colored pencil. Not all pencils are oil-based. Um, if you have ever used like Prismacolor Premier, they are wax-based. And the reason why I prefer an oil base over wax isn't necessarily because one is inherently better than the other, but the wax-based ones, you tend to fight that waxy film that tends to cover artwork and things. You, if you've ever had something, a, p a colored pencil piece go shiny on you, you know what I'm talking about. Oiled-based colored pencils are much less likely to go shiny. So I enjoy, I enjoy the more matte quality of an oil-based colored pencil. So let's see what they look like. Okay. Got a color chart up here. Just for the record, I always rearrange the colors in my colored pencil boxes because I'm a color nerd and I enjoy arranging colors. I bet these smell nice. Actually, they do. <laughs> Oh, right. Let's give these babies a run. Well, I am shockingly disappointed in myself to tell you that I forgot to push play when I was filming this half of my demo. So, uh, the good news is I've still got another circle that I was going to fill. Now I'm going to try, I'm gonna try this again with another sphere. Let's see what we can do. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to make a selection of a warm, a mid, and a cool. Let's see what that does. Mm. Yeah, okay. Pecan, number 66. Salmon, number 60. Egyptian blue, number 36. And I just know I'm probably going to need it, so I'm going to go back and get the lavender number 28. Okay. And just for the record, if you're interested, I am using Strathmore Bristol paper. It's a little controversial. Most colored pencil artists prefer something with a little more tooth just because the definition of colored pencil art means you have to layer a lot. And usually the smoother papers, um, they saturate really quickly. So most colored pencil artists tend to prefer something toothier or even more like a sandpaper, like pastel matter, you art. Um, I've always been a little bit divergent, so I go with the, the Bristol because it allows some very smooth blending, and I just love that. Love getting those colors nice and smooth. If I'd spent more time on this one, I could have smoothed it out a little bit more, but I'm just having fun here, so... We'll worry about that at another time. Where's my sharpener? Okay, y'all, I am in the market for a new sharpener, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know. My favorite one has basically um, kicked the bucket and the company no longer makes that model. So, your sharpener recommendations, please. I'm going to go in with my mid-tone. I love how smoothly these pencils go on. They have a slightly softer core than uh, other pencils. And although that does mean they require slightly more frequent sharpening than like my favorite Castells, if you've ever worked with those, you know they've got a very firm core, they hold a point really well. But it also takes more layers to build up color. So what I appreciate about these Art and Fly pencils is that being softer, the color goes on very, very willingly. And you can build up color very easily and blend it really easily because it moves around a bit more. I may not have had time to do a actual portrait demo with these pencils today, but I can guarantee you I am definitely going to be using these pencils in portraits. I have several projects coming up, and if you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and you can see me using these, in upcoming, these pencils in upcoming projects, so keep an eye out for those, and you'll be able to see how they work on actual faces.
I'm not sure how accurate my video is portraying colors, so I'll be sure to take some photos, some still photos of these, and include them in the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. To anyone who is watching this video, I would love to know what is your current favorite colored pencil brand and why, and extra points if you can tell me which pencil from that brand is your favorite. Because come on, you've got a favorite pencil, right? No? Just me? Okay, never mind. or all colored pencil work, well, any work, but particularly colored pencil. I usually, when I'm picking colors, I start with a mid-tone, and that'll be something that I can identify throughout the whole drawing as something that I can lay down first and then develop with other colors. So in this case, it'll be my pecan. And I pick a warm color for the areas that are most under the light source. And then I pick some cooler shadow colors up to and including black, but I rarely go in with black straight away. Um, even if you have something that is pure black, like, like an, uh, the pupil of an eye or something, I always tell my art students that white is never white and black is never black, or very rarely. Um, it's always good to build up those colors with other colors first just to use up the tooth of the paper and it just creates even if you can't really tell it just gives you this illusion of more depth and character to the color okay let's hit it with my salmon I love how buttery these pencils are they're just so smooth. It goes on just seamlessly. I'm not scratching the paper at all. It's just, it's like butter almost. I mean, it's not greasy, but it's just really smooth and delightful application. I just love it. That's nice and glowy. Let's work towards making some shadows. Um, one thing I would really like to thank Art and Fly for is a decent violet color, and specifically lavender. In my previous pencil sets, I've uh, they really fall flat with the the lavender and light purples. I don't know why, but usually you get dark purple, and then you get pinks. And I was thrilled when I first got my first set of Art and Flies to find out that they actually have some different violets and lavenders to choose from because I use purple a lot. Okay, I'm going to go over it with some Egyptian blue. Not a ton because I don't want to make green. I do want to cool that backside down a bit.
looking good so far. Let's really deepen that shadow now. I'm gonna hit it with some charcoal, number 72. Well, there you have it, folks. The new Art and Fly 24 count portrait oil based colored pencil set. I really enjoyed using it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the only thing I would change about this set is that I wish there was a light blue option instead of just, I, we have the, um, the Egyptian blue, but that's the only blue and I know this is a little bit picky, but I would have liked to have seen like a sky blue or something in there for some, like more of the pale eyes or for highlights like around around in here in the nose and things like that. I think it might, the Egyptian blue might end up being a little overpowering, but I have another set I can supplement from. That's the only negative that I came up with. I like the selection of colors. Otherwise, I think there is a nice range of lights to darks, brights to dulls, and I will definitely be using these in my upcoming portrait commissions. Again, I hardly invite you to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I will leave my links below. As always, like and subscribe, and if there is a video that you would love to see me cover, any techniques or a product you would like to see me review, leave it in a comment. I would absolutely love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time, and yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.